somebody pointed out, and it's a good point, how do we have $40 billion to send to Ukraine and we don't have $40 billion to protect the schools? Okay, exactly. How do we, where, where's the money getting allocated? But I've, I've said this about every single problem they have in this country. Every time there's like a report on the shootings in Chicago, I'm like, how do we have money to send to other countries when we don't have enough money to fix whatever's going on, on the south side of Chicago or Baltimore or how is parts it of Detroit? If we have if we have this money, how does it how is it poverty? Right. In this, right. Okay, so you find money for 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 other things, but you don't find money f to correct the problems here. Exactly. Exactly. It's almost like well, it has to be. Uh, it's almost like it has to be profitable. Like you remember when we invaded Iraq. And Halliburton got these no bid contracts yep. to fix all the shit we blew up. Mm -hmm. Give them a no bid contract to fix Chicago. Go in there, fix it. Go in there, set up, set up community centers. Set up whatever you can do to protect people. Set up whatever you can do to educate people. Set up whatever you can do to provide people with better housing. Make give them hope. Do give the country. Them, the whole country. Do the whole country. It can be like if you've got that much money to go into these <coughs> other countries and fix things. And this whole idea of us being the police of the world, how the fuck can we be the police of the world? We can't even police our own backyard. How do I have a, I have a plan to eradicate homelessness, but the smartest people in this, in this world don't have a plan? What's your plan? Simple. So you have, in, most, in most cities, you have these abandoned buildings. You have a lot of abandoned buildings. You go in, you refurbish this building, and you start people right at the top. And it's a tier system as you, you tear out the door. So whatever your situation is, whether it's mental health, you get that fixed there. Whether it's financial literacy, you get that fixed there. Whatever your situation is, you get fixed in this building that this is what this this recovery center is for. Then you put you put them in jobs in within the within the building because it's it's grant it's ran by grants within the building to, to heighten the skills that they already have and you and you ask me what are their interests? What do they want to be? What were you before this happened to you? How did this happen? You get all that back information. And as 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 they are tearing out, the money that's allocated for each particular client through this grant, half of that money is being put to the side for when they get ready to come out. That they're you're not lit you're not letting them out of this program just naked with just the skills that they acquired in this program. You're giving them a lease on a new lease on life. This is the money that you acquired by being by being through this program. Let's help you start. Let's help you start your life from this point. And you invest in the businesses that they're that they're starting. You invest in their life, whether it's a trade center. You invest in these people, and with the with the notion of they gonna reinvest a percentage back into the building to help more people. And you keep recycling people back into the world in that in that. In that manner. So when you see somebody homeless, they're like, I'm homeless, I can't help myself. They're like, bullshit. It's a building right there that helps every single person that even falls on hard time. And then you give people free health care. I bet if you did that for several generations, you could put a massive debt in it. <clears throat> I don't think you'd ever totally fix it because you're never going to fix abusive parents, sexual abuse, drug abuse when you're you young. Get people, you get people out of there. You get yeah. people out that situation. Because the, I was in a, I, I had an abusive stepfather. The only way to remedy this is to get out of this because you can't fix him. You got to you got to focus on me, yeah, and and get me to safety. But if you cripple somebody thinking that somebody, you put a person in a position where they feel like they need that person, and so you make excuses for their behavior. When I see this all the time, and people are like, why why did this person stay? Why did this person do this? Because if they were handicapped, they was crippled, and when you feel like you have no other place to go, you stay in positions that that that's abusing you. That's what people do. That's definitely true. But the amount of resources you would have to have to take care of every family where every person is being abused, we have it because we can give it. A, we can give it. We we wait. We throw away more food in this country. Than more country than most countries produce in a year, our waste our waste ratio. If our waste ratio change, then our condition change. Yeah. It, because if you allocate if you allocate funds to the right thing instead of wasting funds, like even even with even with this, 
it's a it's it's people say it's a it's a misinformation in, in certain things. Yes, it is when you when the federal government doesn't allocate funds to certain people to eradicate the misinformation. In me in media. In media, it's federal funds that go that go out to media companies. Why you don't get that to some to some of the black media outlets that you say that don't know what's going on? Because you're not helping you're not helping the situation either. You hurting the situation. You saying that people's number if you know that the number one thing that cripples people in this country is health and then you don't make it where they can have quality free health care in this country then you don't feel like the consumer that your 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 the human being is the most important commodity on this planet if you invest in the human being and the human being does the good works that he's supposed to do with that investment and they invest in more human beings, you create this utopia yeah. of helping and learning and not being and not having a phobia of, hey, Joe, I need your help. That doesn't make me less than a man because I need your help with something. You, you, you're supposed to give your fellow man a a leg up. That's what you're yes. supposed to do. Yes. But we we live in the what I'm not supposed to do. Yeah, and helping people feels good. It's good for you too. That that that's one thing we have to get into people's heads. Yeah. Helping people feels good. 